Hello. Hello. I'm sorry. Okay, that's better. Yes. <laughs> How are you? I am fine, and you? I'm great. Thank you. My name is Tia. I'm from England in the UK. I am Patra. I'm from India. Oh, nice to meet you, Patra. Nice to meet you too. Mm, how's your day going? Very well. Good. It's brilliant. Thank you. Thank you for asking. So, Patra, this is the first time we're speaking. What would you like to do? Do you like? Do you want to have a normal conversation, or would you like to speak about a particular topic, or anything else? Okay, I just have some writing skill. Mm -hmm. Okay, if uh, I write you a mail, yes, then how I write it? Tell me about something subject. So, like in terms of how to write an email. Okay, so how would you normally start off an email? Normally, I am start. Uh, it depend on my friends or something. Then I dear friend. Okay. And I wrote the subject. Mm. Okay, so if you're wanting to write to a friend, that doesn't matter because obviously you can be very informal. You can do whatever you want, whatever you wish, however you want to write it because it doesn't matter for the friends. If it's a formal email, then I would normally write, okay, if the email is going to a company and you want a specific person to look at the email, then you can write for attention off. So, F-A-O. There you go. And then their name. So for attention of, and then you can write the name in their subject line. So basically the company can then forward it on to them. Um, otherwise, obviously, if it's going to the actual person, then you can write their name in the subject, uh, sorry, the actual subject in the subject line, whatever it's about. You start it off by saying, dear sir, if you don't know the name of the person. But if you do, then you can say, dear Robert or whatever. So yeah. Okay, if I write to you a mail, okay, you are a good teacher, and then how I can write it? To me, to any teacher. So you could just say, I mean, with teachers, it tends to be that you can just be formal. You don't have to be like, dear this, and then, you know, do a proper email system. But um, that's on... Hello? Okay, I can see you now again. So yeah, can you hear me? Hmm. Yes. Hmm. So, yes, I can hear you. So normally in the message you can be you can be all right as long as you were just being polite that's all that's okay. In email you would say dear the name of the teacher so like dear Gia I hope you are well and then you will write about whatever you want to write about and then you can um, finish it off that I look forward to hearing from you. Um, have a lovely day. Kindest regards. Bye. Okay. <laughs> yeah. What is your hobby? My hobbies, I like reading books. That's my main hobby. Um, I like traveling, I like walking, I like going to the gym. Um, pretty much, yeah. So I like reading a lot of books, which is my probably my main hobby anyway. So what, what do you like to do? I also like to read novels and watching movies. Ah, novels, right. Okay, I don't read novels. I read like personal development books. I'm not interested yet. Novels like really bore me. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> no, some interesting novel is actually there. Yeah, yeah. In the England, uh, Stephen Fleming or something, James Bond. It's very interesting. I also watch all movies. Oh, okay. Yeah, again, I don't, I don't watch too many movies. So what's your favorite type of movies? Like thriller types? Thriller type, horror type. Oh, oh horror. <laughs> Do you not get scared? No, I don't scare. You don't get scared at all? Wow. I just used to it. A very pleasant weather outside. The, as well. Very pleasant weather outside, is it? Yes. Outside well, weather. not really, no. It's a bit of a deceit. Yeah, no, it looks it. It looks it, but it's not. I, the light keeps coming. I'm so sorry about this. Okay, a bit better. Yeah, okay. um... What do you call it? The sun is out, but it's sunny still cold. Weather. Not really, no. It's still quite cold. It's okay. um, it's one of those type of weathers where I think it's because it's changing from spring to summer. Very fluctuating but, weather. Yeah, very fluctuating. Up and down, very, very, very temperamental. Raining yeah. all the time and crazy, yeah. yeah. Most, most of the time it's cold. Yes, most of the time very cold, very, very cold. <laughs> and raining all the time as well, yeah. Have you ever been to England? 
No, no, no. I never been. Hmm. Would you like to come? I would like to. Hmm. That's good. That's good. So so what I, is hmm? where? Where? What is your favorite place in England? My favorite place. Okay, so I have not been to every single city, but from all those that that I have traveled, Manchester is very close to my heart because I went to the university there. Um, so obviously I've lived there, so I really like it. Um, but York is very pretty. Like it's got a lot of history there. It's called York. York. Oh, mm. so when you come, it's, York is inside of it. Is that what? <laughs> No, 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 no! That's yolk. That's yolk. That's a different spelling. Sound, sound yeah. doesn't sound like same. Same yeah. like I understand. It does. It does. You're right. You're right. It does. Yeah, yeah. But um, very pretty city. Very, very um, historical. So yeah. Okay. Mm. What do you do apart from Cambly? So I mainly teach. So I teach on here. I teach outside of Cambly as well, and I do some other work of mine. Um, uh, but by degree, I am an optometrist. I don't know if you know what that is. Um, uh, what, what is this exactly? Okay, so basically, you know, when you go for an eye test, and the person who takes you in for the consultation to check your okay. eyes—that's me. Okay. Basically, by degree. I'm not really working like that at the moment, but yeah. What do you do? Okay, I am an accountant. Hmm. Do you like it? Do you like your job? Yes, I like it. That's good. That's good. So, are you living alone, or do you live with your family currently? Okay, I am living with my family. Mm hmm. Where are you? Pardon? You? Um, I have moved back for now. Yeah. So before I was living alone, and now I'm back with my family at the moment. Okay. Do you watch movies? I don't watch movies. No, it's to be honest. My problem is I get bored very, very easily. Like with movies, it's like the same thing I find with every movie. So I, I'm like, oh god, it's a waste of time for me. So I feel if I feel like it's wasting my time, I don't like watching things. If it's something I can learn from, then yeah, I will watch it. But, you love me. You love to learn something. Yes, yes, definitely. What is your favorite self development books? Self development books. Oh, there's quite loads. I really like um, is Rich Dad Poor Dad. Yes, it's very famous. Yeah, Think and Grow Rich. Um, I've got How to Win Friends and Influence People. Okay. Have you got some there. <laughs> you got some there. <laughs> yes, I have that book. Okay, I can see. Oh, that's good. Oh, you got do you all of them? Yay! Yes, I have. Uh, one book is in another room. <laughs> oh, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's good. That's good. That's really good. Have you read them all? Yes. Mm, did you like them? Yes, I uh, sometimes I read self development book also. This is help for yeah. uh, self improvement. Mm -hmm. So I learning list that is also a self improvement. Exactly. When I talk with the native speaker, that I can write, okay, but uh, when I can speak, this is very hesitating. Mm. So I cut out my hesitating, then I want to speak with native speaker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's good. That's good. I think it's much easier to like read and write, but when it does come to speaking, because you have to utilize a proper like move your language out of the way and try yes, to yes. speak like a native, it can be difficult. That's like with any language. Like when I try to speak Spanish, I know I can't take out the words, or I'm trying to speak French, I can't take out the real words. So it is tricky. I can understand. Uh, do you know Spanish also? No, I don't. I would like to learn it though, but so I'm trying to learn it a little bit, but I haven't got anywhere too much with it. So mm. don't ask me to say anything. <laughs> I know a little bit of French, and that's it. Spanish is very popular language. You don't want to learn. Mm -hmm. After English, yeah, 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 yeah. French, Spanish, and German. These are the three main ones here in England that that are very, very popular. So um, that's what we tend to get schooled and um, like in school. That's what we tend to learn as a second language. Spanish language is help for traveling. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Well, honestly, yes. I went to Spain uh, two years ago. And me and my friends were struggling, like because we didn't know much Spanish, so we were like speaking in English. But then the majority of them don't speak English there, so we were like just hand directions going on. But so I think you should definitely learn how to speak Spanish. It'll, it'll help in many countries. 
I, I know little bit, then I cannot focus on learning Spanish language. Ah, do you actually know how to speak Spanish? No, 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 I don't know exactly. Little bit, I know. Ah. Because the Spanish language is actually called Espanol. Am yes. I right? Yes, yes, yes. It's Espanol, yes. Yeah. Have you been to uh, any Spanish speaking country before? No, no, no. Mm. I never go outside India. Oh, you've never been outside so India? The, I learn from books or internet. Oh wow! Do you like? Do you want to travel though? Yes, I think. But now this pandemic situation is everything is mm. destroyed. Mm. <laughs> Let's just wait another year. Okay, okay. Tell me one thing: How my English speaking skill? Mm. So no, definitely. Like obviously, from what I've heard, you're really good at holding a conversation. You can understand me, which is good because I do speak fast. So that's good. So that's one thing that's really good. First of all, that, and then secondly, you're good at like answering back and everything. However, obviously the accent is there. If you really do want the British accent, then I will definitely recommend that try to watch every movie in a British accent, whatever you watch, and try to imitate them how they're speaking constantly. So when you're running that dialogue in that particular way, and then you're putting that out from your tongue, it helps. So rather than just doing 15 minutes here, you're doing like one to two, three, four hours a day like that try that um and secondly like with your speaking it's good however obviously some like very few words here and there are a little bit like random they don't make sense but with practice obviously that'll get better so keep practicing this is really good okay mm. but yeah definitely um are you um do you watch in english movies or is it i'm sorry british english movies mainly or is it like american movies Sometimes America, sometimes British. Ah, okay, yeah. So, do you want a British accent or are you not bothered yes, about that? Yes, yes. Okay. British accent. So, yeah, I would definitely recommend then stick to British because sometimes what American movies can do is, it's fine, but if you pick it up, then you can tell you've got an American accent because America speaks a little bit different, very differently to us anyway. Secondly, the words are different, like the language, the words that they use for a lot of things. Are different to like the British words so just be careful on that road where if you really do want a British accent I would say surround yourself with like British books British audiobooks British um, podcasts news channels whatever you listen to stick to the British people <laughs> it's, it's very difficult to stick to British people because I am from India <laughs> why so, so, so internet, how can I speak? Yeah. I mean, obviously, if you um, go on like YouTube yes. and just type so in like that, watching. That's, that's mm. I tell previously that I'm watching YouTube. Yeah. Internet, so. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And honestly, internet is your best friend. If you ever want to learn anything, like literally anything like cooking or yoga or t teaching, whatever you want to learn, literally go on the internet. You will find something that would help you. And when you're searching for an answer, you find it. So, yes, yes yeah. What is the time there? At the moment, it is 6.06 .06 p.m. How many hours? What's, what's your time? Are you, at, I'm assuming it's night. Like 10, 9, 9 p.m., 10 p.m.? Yes, mm, correct. Oh, okay, half 10. Ah, okay. Oh, you're about four and a half hours ahead of us. So what are you going to do for the rest of the evening then or night? Are you going to sleep or are you going to no, go out of time? I, I sleep after 12 or 1 a.m. and uh, I am just studying. Uh, for this pandemic cities, I cannot go outside. Uh, mm -hmm. Usually, I go to outside oh. for the evening one. Mm. Oh, well, you it's, can't do that now, yeah. That's good. Is the lockdown also? Is the lockdown also? It's easing now. We are in a partial lockdown, not full. Yes, not full. here, here also is partial lockdown. Oh my the God! This time just open. Oh. After this time, it's totally closed. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, here it's, they're open. The restaurants are open now. But obviously, we're not completely, like, you know, going wild like we were before. It's slowly, slowly getting there. Hopefully, with time, everything will open. Everything will be fine. <laughs> we can hope. Yes. But hope our time... Uh, yeah? Hope is everything. 
Yeah, yeah. But our time's going to go. It was lovely speaking to you. Me too. Mm, have a lovely evening.